Hi everyone and welcome back to the Slimming World Diaries. So I know I haven't posted a video in a while so I decided to do a food haul shop thing. Um, this has just arrived from Tesco's and I'm literally going to go through everything you see right here, not including the cat, um, and tell you a bit about what they are and if they're speed and things like that and why I like them. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the speed foods here because there are quite a lot of speed foods and these are important to have in the Slimming World diet. Um, they make up a third of your plate and I always like to make sure I have a lot in. So, my first thing I always buy is mushrooms. Now, I have another three boxes over there. Um, I normally get through four of these a week, but that's, I think, a vegan thing. I always, always, always have mushrooms in. Um, they're my go-to speed food, always have them. Uh, we have some melon slices over here because I don't like getting a whole melon. Um, I find that I waste a lot of it. So, in the end, it's just easier to buy these. Um, then we have some sweet peppers. Now these are great because there's no green pepper in it and I don't like the green pepper and I think most people don't. Um, so it works out cost effective to buy this rather than buy one with a green pepper in. Um, we then have some broccoli. This is a great speed food. I love it in risottos. I love it in pasta. Or I love to just chuck it on the side of my plate. That's a really good one and it's really quick and easy. I always find it's really quick and easy to boil or steam. We also have some essentials here, which are Italian chopped tomatoes in cans. They are speed foods. Um, you can get more expensive ones, but these were four for £1.25. And they're not bad at all. So I would recommend like not getting the most expensive one um, if you want to keep your shop down. Um, we also have some frozen raspberries here. I always get frozen raspberries for my porridge in the morning. Um, otherwise, I end up not having much speed food in the morning. Um, so these are always a go-to. And I always get frozen because then there is no waste. Uh, you just take out as many as you want and then put the rest in the fridge. So fridge, freezer even. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a good one. Um, these I have got from Asda before, but they don't have the ones I like in Asda anymore, so I got these. So, these are vegetable soups. Now, they have got speed food in, but they have got free food. So, they've got carrot, swede, potato, onion, and parsley. Now, the carrot and swede and onion is speed, and then the potato isn't, but it's still a really good thing to have in because you can just batch it up and then it's there and you can heat it up um next are the stir fry kits i love these um this one was a pound and it's vegetables and bean sprouts and it has got loads of speed food in there so you've got um where's the ingredients normally the ingredients tell you what type of things you've got in there but you've got carrots you've got onions you've got cabbage you've got bean sprouts all of which are completely speed food so these are great um just to make a quick stir fry um i bought these to try i do like them but i hate cutting them up so i bought some pre-cut ones in the three for two with the soup mix um and these are runner beans these are also speed foods and they're very good to just shove on a plate with something um I've got courgettes over there. Uh, I like to put courgettes in pasta bakes or um, in rice salads and things like that. So I do like them, but I also like making them into wedges. So I have speedy wedges. Um, I have a cucumber because it's great to snack on and it's just something else speedy that's not a hot vegetable. Um, I got these because actually they were on offer in Tesco's at the moment. They're a pound upon it, which I think is really good value. So I got two of them um, and they're obviously speed food like my frozen ones. But it just means that I can use these first and I can use them for yogurt and things like that and don't need to wait for them to defrost a little. And then finally on the speed food front, I have my fine asparagus and my baby corn. 
Um, I love asparagus. It's something that I've always liked because you can put it with your breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you can do it in so many ways. Like I put in risotto one day and then I roast it the next day. Like it's such a versatile thing. So I always get them. Baby corn. Now, baby corn is a speed food. But sweet corn from a tin or on a cob is not. So you have to be really careful. I don't mind the baby corn. Um, but I've noticed that I will go for baby corn if I want sweet corn. Because it is a speed food rather than a free food. So that's something to think about maybe if you want to try and add more speed food in. So yeah, there's that. Um, and let's go on to the free foods now. So for my free foods, I haven't really got many free foods on here because a lot of the staples I already have. So your pasta, your rice, your risotto, things like that I already have. Um, so I'll only top up on them when I need them. Um, so this week I needed potatoes. So I got my classic jacket potatoes. I love them for making jackets. Um, I also do wedges with them if need be. Um, and they're really nice to get for. Um, and then I've also got Desiree potatoes, which are great for pretty much anything. But fantastic for mash i would really advise you looking to getting them i then have a lonely can of mushy peas now occasionally i will have mushy peas but um i just really fancied them so i got a can of mushy peas and these are free food you could arguably say that they are a source of protein but they are not speed food peas are not speed food in any form so remember that and then we have my trusty cauldron tofu over here. Um, this is chilled um, and this is a free food, but it's a protein rich food. So it is classed as a pea um, and it's very versatile. It can be done as scrambled. Um, it can be roasted. It, there's so many. It can be barbecued. So I really do like that one. So let's go on to the sin stuff now. So as you can tell, there is not much sin stuff here because I don't really need it. Um, a lot of my sins I use on things like agave nectar or cheese, vegan cheese or things like that. Um, so firstly, we have these. These are vegan chocolate buttons. I always get the chocolate buttons rather than getting the big bars. These are six and a half sins to seven sins, depending on whether it's Tesco's or Sainsbury's. Um, and these are quite nice in the fridge. So yeah, I have two packets of them. I then have one of these, and I actually found this out from uh, Instagrammer. Um, these aren't actually as high sinned as you think. For half a pouch for this one, it works out at about three sins, because the whole pouch is three uh, is six and a half. So I would say that, like, to be on the safe side, I would do three and a half for half the pouch. So, yeah, it's nice and different to have, like, a sauce. Um, my final thing is my vegan cheese. Now, oh, no, it's not. I've got another thing. This is my vegan cheese. It's Violife um, because I can't have cheese as a healthy extra. So I have to sin it. And I get slices, so it's pre-weighed and I don't go over my sins. And it is three sins per slice. Uh, the reason why it's not a healthy extra is because it hasn't got the calcium needed. So yeah, I always get that. And finally, I have my falafel. Um, Tesco don't do the falafel that I like. Uh, there's a falafel called Cauldron Indian Koftas and they are two sins for the whole pack of eight. These are not, these are 12 sins because they're one and a half each. Um, but they are still really nice and really tasty. So I would recommend them, but obviously be careful of the sins and they're better when they're heated up. So also you can see that I've got drinks. I've got some flavored sparkling water. That is something that I like to have because it's a water-based product rather than diet Coke. But then there was an offer on Diet Coke, so I got uh, 24 cans for £6, which 
is not expensive at all it's really cheap so i did get that and i occasionally will but this is more to encourage me to help drink water basically so and in the background you can see my fabric softener um so yeah that's everything that i got hopefully i can do another food haul for you soon um my next one will be when i'm at uni so that will be interesting because it will be slightly bigger um and have a lot more frozen stuff in it so guys if you like this video then give it a massive thumbs up and also if you want to see more then subscribe down below and follow me on instagram which is becky underscore mary underscore sw you can find all the links below and yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon my lovely unicorns bye Mwah. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video then please give it a massive thumbs up and also if you want to watch more then please subscribe. It would make me such a happy person. Thank you guys, bye!